Hello, beloved. Welcome to Beanie TV, where I offer sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So today, I am trying this mukbang, 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 mung, 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 mukbang, mung, 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 with a mukbang, mung, with a mukbang. This is my first mukbang video. You guys know if you know if you're new to this channel. Hello, hi, welcome. I am all things God, self love goodness wellness and life tips i usually do not do youtube trend things but you know what you only live once i feel good and i'm hungry so it's like come on i'm i'm doing my job and fueling my body so it works if you are new to this channel, something I like to do before every single episode is I like to do an affirmation. So if you will join me, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Release. My self-worth is not dependent upon outside validation. My self-worth is not dependent upon outside validation. My self-worth is not dependent upon outside validation. Go ahead and take a deep breath in, release. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a pillow because I can't really sit this low. My hips, my hips, my hips, my hips. All right, let me grab this pillow and sit on it. I feel like much better. Okay, this is my first mukbang. I don't know if you're allowed to do this, but these are my vegan vegetarian leftovers from last, from yesterday, last night, whatever. So right here, we have spinach with tempeh bacon, so basically vegan bacon, but it's spicy buffalo flavored. Here we have steamy white rice with quinoa, and then here I have a blackened tofu burger with avocado and this West African I don't know if you would call it a snack or a dessert but it's called I don't remember what it's called it's made from super ripe plantains onions ginger you blend it all together add some water and you fry it so I wanted to add it to the blackened tofu because I like the idea of sweet and savory and then the buns also have vegan mayonnaise on them so can you guys kind of see it can you see it okay and then I have my Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. You guys, if you are looking for coconut water, put down the Zico, put down the Vita, and pick up Harmless Harvest. This is the best USDA organic coconut water, in my opinion. It tastes so good. And they're pink. And they're pink because the, avo the avocados. They're pink because the coconuts are made from um, baby coconuts in Thailand. So... I'm already thirsty. So this is, again guys, thank you for tuning in. This is my first mukbang. Again, why do people want to watch people eat? I don't know, but here we are. Woo! The thing about Harmless Harvest is that it's pricey. So when you drink it, you gotta save or you gotta let it quench your throat, okay? So let's get into it because I'm actually really hungry. So again, this is spinach with spicy buffalo tempeh veggie bacon. You know when something is just so tasty that you just got to stare in the sky and be like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for this moment. <laughs> That's how it, it's good. It's good. Guys, I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna dig in. This rice is hot. Okay, so this is really hard to do. Chew and talk. Am I meant to talk? See, when I'm cooking my uh, quinoa and my rice, I actually do not like to add salt. I like it super, super plain. I guess you can say tasteless, but I like it. 
like this, popping. Okay. If you're new to my channel, I'm Abina. But a lot of my friends and loved ones call me Beanie. This is my channel. I've been on YouTube for like five, six years. I've been seriously going at it for four years. But my content has kind of always just been the same, been me, spirituality, all that good stuff. I love God. I love Jesus. I love talking to angels. I love angel numbers. I love it. I love being in synchronicity with life. But I recently just moved back home on the East Coast from uh, Los Angeles. I lived in Los Angeles for four years pursuing acting. It was really good, really great, just some great stuff. But then God was like, we're done, period. God was like, girl, baby, girl. No one said go out there. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Really, life got really just emotionally taxing in LA. And I felt like I was going to have a breakdown. Moved back to the East Coast. I recently just got back from Ghana. And I feel very at peace with everything that's going on in my life and refreshed. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know. Oh, let me get into my burger. Hold up. Wait a minute, let me put some tofu in it. So we're just gonna eat this. Oh, mm, mm. Here I go again. And something is so flavorful because it has the blackened so actually let me talk about this okay first let me talk about that okay so now I'm back on the east coast and we're just figuring life out that's what life is all about god will never let me fall god will never let me down i finally 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 feel good in my body and i'm so thankful that i don't live in los angeles anymore i'm so thankful that I have peace just overflowing in me and I'm so thankful that I'm letting my past be the past. And here we are. Mukbangin. We're mukbangin. 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 Um. Okay. So actually let me, it's just so good. Okay. So the blackened tofu, I actually got it from his sweet potato soul. So I actually bought the book from my brother who has been over a year vegan. And the book is full of just good old soul food inspired vegan recipes. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with it. So I, uh oh, my phone. Let me turn my phone off. So I made the blackened tofu based upon sweet potato soul's recipe and it's just so good but added i mean this with the super ripe plantain is the sweetness it's the spicy it's good so good i'm hungry i'm so hungry okay Let's talk about television. Because I feel like I don't get to do that enough on here. Do y'all watch the show You on Lifetime? It's spicy. The show You on Lifetime is probably one of the best shows on television this year. It stars Penn Badgley from Gossip Girl and this other actress, I'm not sure where she's from, but she's super cute. And it's on Lifetime, so 
My expectations were low. But there I was, 13 hours later, 10 episodes in. Literally heart racing. It's a thriller, psychotic, mm. Yeah, I guess. Like a psychotic type of thriller, but it involves social media and how easy it is for someone to like track you and your life history and what you like just because we're so used to sharing. And it makes you think, are you oversharing? Do you really even know somebody just because they post and share a certain aspect of themselves on social media? Do you even know somebody? So if you don't watch a show, and crazy, if you do watch the show, you tell me, is the main actress, is she crazy? Or is he crazy? Are they the same level of crazy? Because I feel like I'm going to spoil it by saying more, so maybe I shouldn't say more. But I feel like if she had just left him alone, the ending wouldn't have been the ending. I feel like I can say that without feeling like... Without feeling like I'm ruining it for you. So I'm not. You're gonna watch it. It's called You on Lifetime. If you have not watched it, man, that's a good show. The visuals are good. But can we talk about Killing Eve? That made me wanna flip my hair, okay? Sandra, oh, baby! That! as an actor. Because when you're watching Killing Eve, you don't see Sandra O, oh, you don't see the character she played on Grey's Anatomy. You see the character that she is on Killing Eve, and that is an actor. Because even, like you have a lot of actors that, it's that human being just reading lines. It's not them delving into the role, you know? Which, who cares? Maybe I'm that type of actor. Like, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter as long as you are happy and, you know, doing what you love to do. But Sandra O, oh, I don't see, I don't even see Sandra because I don't know her. I just don't see her. I see the character and I love that. That's acting for real. Mm hmm? Okay, I had a technical difficulty. My memory card ran out, so I ate most of my food. Because <laughs> I told you guys I was hungry. Very hungry. Okay. Honestly, guys, I'm getting full. And I need to leave room for dessert. But what was I saying? Killing Eve. Um, I only knew about Killing Eve because Sandra O was the first Asian woman. I think Asian... Asian woman or Asian person to have uh, been nominated for an Emmy. And I was like, all right, let me watch the show. My mind is blown. I hope that one day I can meet her and just tell her like, wow, you are a powerhouse. I personally always love seeing Asians winning because it's not as common. It's not as common, so I'm always happy when when anybody is winning, of course, but when an Asian is winning, that makes me happy. All right, last few bites, and I'm on to dessert. And for dessert, we are having some Pillsbury Doughboy. Let's get this focus going. Pillsbury Doughboy cinnamon, cinnamon cinnamon rolls. Okay, one thing about me. I have a habit of eating sweet things after I've eaten something savory. I don't need the sugar police on me today. Um... Yesterday when I made these on Instagram, I was telling Instagram that these 
And some of your favorite fake healthy things are genetically engineered. So these have some form of genetically engineering. I don't know what it is. We all do our best, right? I'm, I'm doing my best not to care what people think. And I'm doing my best to make sure I enjoy this life. And I am also doing my best to make sure that health and wellness is priority. Today, I did four minutes of jump rope. And I did a hundred crunches, okay? Because I gotta get this Ghana weight off of me for Mexico in February. These genetically modified buns, though. The thing is, yeah, you know, I just finished having tofu and kale, and now I'm having this like genetically delicious Cinnabon. It's all about duality, right? Duality. You can get this from the supermarket. Cooks in 20 minutes. So soft. Comes with the icing. There's a vegan way to make this. But I haven't really mastered baking. Earlier this year I tried to make cookies and they kept coming out like biscuits. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but mm, something wrong. Wow, that's good. I'm about to take a whole nap after this. Ooh. I'm about to take a whole ass nap after this. But personally, I really just want to commit to this YouTube life. I've done the fashion thing. I've done the acting thing. I feel like I'm ready to just commit to my calling, you know? This coconut water, man, so good. You like to see more of me being back on the East Coast. I live in New Jersey, so New York is like my second home. Would you like to see more New York? I don't mind going there. You know, I have to stop saying I don't mind because when I say I don't mind, it really actually means I would prefer not to, which really just means no. So I have to stop saying I don't mind. What I do have to say is I will go to New York for you if you want to see it, if it's not snowing or raining and the sun is out. The sun has to be out. I don't want to be all up in New York, fucking doom and gloom, like today. Today is gloomy. Who would want to go outside? We just got back from Ghana. It's been a week. To go from like LA to New Jersey for a little bit, the sun was still shining, and then to go to Ghana, West Africa, where it's hot, and sunny, and delicious, and warm, and all your bodily aches and pains stop, to come back to this doomy, gloomy weather, I gotta get acclimated, okay? I gotta get blankets, I need a winter coat, and then gloves, and then a heating pad.
the first time I watched a mukbang mang mang what a bang mang mukbang 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 mang mang what a bang what it who bang what it I was like why am I watching this and then I was like my mouth is watering humans are so weird and the internet is the playground for our weirdness for real I'm getting full so I'm happy I could do this I hope I did it right I hope I made my vegans and vegetarians proud pre cinnabon and I just want to let you know that as we are ascending into higher consciousness everyone's form of spirituality looks different so and everyone's form of enlightenment looks different you gotta find out what is good and not great for you and not feeling not good feeling for you for me in the level that I'm at I can't watch scary movies I can't even watch scary commercials because it just gives me this icky feeling right there's just some things I cannot do that someone else in their ascension level can do. So don't feel like because you are enlightened that you need to be a certain way, wear certain colors, dress a certain way, just because your favorite does it. You got to find what enlightenment and spirituality looks like for you. And I'm understanding that. While I was in Ghana, I realized, hold up, I'm it. I am it. I am standing in what I've always wanted to stand in. I know my powers. I know my truth. I'm understanding my spiritual abilities. I'm like, oh, so I'm not going to be like, you know, I am vibrating and I am glowing, but I'm not going to be like Jesus level vibrating, glowing where everywhere I go, it's like, oh, no. But in the spiritual realm, I am. But on the earthly realm, you're going to see me in this Zara one piece, okay? Eating genetically modified um, Cinnabons. If you meditate for 30, 30 minutes a day and want to watch Love and Hip Hop, go ahead. You know who you are. You know what's right for you. You know what's feeding your soul. You know what's not feeding your soul. You're good. You're good. So don't feel like you have to live up to some, I don't know, made up enlightenment, wellness idea, portrayal. No. Damn, like when you can just get right in the middle and when the icing is just gooey, baby! Ooh. All right, y'all, I'm full. But I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Bad Boy Records. I can't stop. Mmm. When you can just get right in the middle, all this, mmm. I can't eat all this. This romper is getting tight. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna go take a nap. Thank you guys for watching my first mukbang with it. Mukbang with it. Muk. 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 Bang. 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 With it. Bang. Bang. Muk. Bang. Bang. Thank you for watching my first mukbang. I love you. I wish you nothing but smooth rise on your ascension i want nothing but comfort for you and your enlightenment take care of yourself love yourself if you're not ready to love yourself like yourself hmm and i'll see you guys next video peace